Giga Texas is 32% complete and speeding up. With the math at the end, welcome to my Tesla weekend. As expected, the nasty weather we saw last week cleared. Well, <laughs> mostly anyhow. And we got to see some amazing progress at Giga Texas, future birthplace of the Cybertruck. Footer construction resumed, and as surely as they'd been assembling a dozen cranes for a week or three, the steelwork got kicked into reasonably high gear. There's also been some significant progress on the installation of large concrete columns, beams, and roof decks at the Great Hall, though it may appear slow from this high up. It isn't slow. It's large and difficult, but it's moving along nicely, and we're likely to see major prefab concrete work completed in this area in the next two to three weeks. As always, there's a lot of work being done that is not captured in this tracker, since it's outside the scope of what we originally expected the site to be, and what we currently know of the plans. Huge amounts of rebar has been installed on the second floor of the main steel structure, with concrete poured and finished in much of it. This progress is not reflected, as it's only one of many elements of interior completion, and it was always expected that this would take place simultaneously with other work around the site. These guys now have their own little universe in which to complete their work, reliant only on the concrete pumping rig remaining stocked and ready to deliver supplies to their level. As expected, interior work, though vastly more complicated, can take place regardless of other advances around the property, as once they have a floor and a roof, they're largely isolated from other work. New land is being cleared and graded in the southeast corner next to the Great Hall, in the far north just south of the old concrete bag plant, and pushing the grade from the southeast corner toward the river, and also over by Martin Marietta. None of this is captured in the figures either, and the site prep estimate is still at 95%, where it's likely to remain until such time as no further earthworks appear to be active and there's no need for them. 95% was the original figure quoted back in the first Giga Texas Math video, link in the corner, and it remains constant because it all appears just about finished, though we'll never know the full extent of it until it's done, and we have sufficient ground prep to complete the primary factory already, which appears to be taking place over the originally scheduled phases 1, 2, and 3 all at once. So if you think the due date has been pushed out, it has, but the scope has doubled or tripled in size? This week, I've started work on adding a number of floors tracker, which I'll cover briefly, but more information will be available on Patreon, link in the description. The floor tracker is new and only now being dialed in, and I haven't had enough time to bring it up to current, but it will grow clearer over the coming weeks and will provide greater insight to the total square footage rather than just the site's footprint. For those on Patreon, the graphic will be available in full resolution with a legend explaining all the different aspects. One lesson from this week is that, as uncertain as my methodology is, it is at least consistent. To all the angry hammer swingers who said these estimates were too fast or too slow, I haven't been offered anything material by which to adjust my estimates, and the timeline accuracy appears only hampered by my inability to measure distance based on irregular footing spacing. With that said, there may be a significant jump next week as I'm working on revising my estimation of the progress as it relates to the overall site map. That is to say, I may have understated the amount of footing work already completed. So here is the animation of progress over the weeks, and I'll put the dates on them to add another layer of clarity, but this should give you an idea of where we're at over the recent few weeks. Older to newest, older to newest. Orange is the footings, gray is the rough frames, and dark gray indicates a roof. And just for fun, here's the original site plan with the actual progress as best we can tell overlaid. I removed a row of footings from the tracker in the area due south of the steel structure, as I can no longer see them, and it's possible I wrongly assume their completion in prior estimates. How do you feel about that level of progress? 
When do you predict the first consumer saleable cars will roll off the line in Texas? And which model or models do you think will be built in Austin first? Personally, I think it will sadly be the Model Y first, followed by Cybertruck, then Semi and Roadster sometime later. But I'm curious what your gut tells you. So the new estimated date of completion has moved forward by one day to January 7th, but please understand that this is a very wiggly number. The site surely will not be completed by then in any commonly accepted sense, since Tesla is always growing, changing, and expanding. This is only the estimated completion date for this emerald footprint, exclusive of other buildings or work on the site or any scope creep from here. I feel this estimate is fair because the site doesn't need to reach completion for test and even final production vehicles to roll off the assembly line. In Shanghai, the timeline was that production vehicles came just four months after closing off the exterior walls. The only reason this could be delayed is due to the complexity of upgraded components like the structural battery pack, advanced paint shop, or Cybertruck tooling and engineering validation difficulties. And Shanghai wasn't nearly as big as Giga Texas, and I will show that in next week's video because I've got some more research to do before I can show it. But it's, it's wildly bigger. A quick production note, I've gotten a complaint about my use of music. It's not stock music, but stuff I bought for a previous project, and I use it to cover the sound of, well, today at least, torrential rain, but also my wheezy asthma. If anyone has better music or wants to help me secure something exclusive for a reasonable price, I'm open to suggestions, but for now, this is what we've got. So I do thank you for your patience. Next week's estimate may be slowed by the following factors. Inclement weather, which could delay concrete work and or necessitate rework of existing elements. I mean, that happened last week. Work diverted to site elements not captured by the tracker, such as additional grading in new areas away from the emerald. Or by focus on work that just isn't captured by the tracker. But next week's estimate is likely to be sped up by the following factors. Increased pace of steelwork, which is likely due to the number of cranes on site and the pace of supplies delivered. Refinement to the site plan compared to actual work completed, as in, I may need to make upward adjustments in some areas, specifically on the west side as it continues its progress southward. The scale of the large pit slash great hall may have been underestimated, which could lead to a jump in completion by square foot. Footing and foundation work appears to have continued apace, while other aspects of work are now being completed in parallel. So here you go, here's the math. Giga Texas is of course 32% complete, but I don't think it will be next week. And I don't think it'll be 33% either. I think it's gonna jump to 34% at least. But what's your guess? I know this is a very wide estimate, but it's the most I can safely offer. I believe test vehicles will be produced in Giga Texas plus or minus four months from my estimated completion date. As in sometime between September 7th of 2021 and April 7th of 2022. I hope to continue narrowing that estimate every week, but stay tuned and you'll see for yourself. And if you've made it this far and you're not subscribed, you probably should be because this is clearly the kind of video that interests you and YouTube has no way to know otherwise. If you want to better understand the methodology used to come up with my swag, my scientific wild ace guest -a math go back and look at the previous four installments in this series and I promise you 99% of your questions will be answered. So stay tuned. Stay juicy, and I can't wait to hear from you clever robots here on Earth, or soon, maybe, Mars. <laughs> no, no, not really Mars. I just, I just thought that sounded nice.